What is up with everyone, Paul from Tonish Productions here, and we are back in Mafia 2, and this time we're on the uh, the chapter Time Well Spent. This is after Vito got arrested for the uh, ration stamps. They actually figured out it was him, and we're going to go ahead and get right into this. I'm not sure exactly how long the um, intro of it is, but we will definitely 100% see I think it's pretty long. Last episode, I got some of the intro done because I didn't want to leave in the middle of it. I wasn't 100% sure uh, how long it would be, but it was pretty, pretty long. So I guess we'll see where we start starting the chapter off. So let's go ahead. Okay, chapter 6. Time well spent. Little Italy, February 26th, 1945. Okay, let's go ahead and get right into this. Okay, I'm going to let the cutscene play, and I will see you guys when it's done. Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer courtesy of his boss Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew and about I any of my other crime activities. crime to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost understand. cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta. For your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to ten years in a federal penitentiary. Welcome yeah. to hell, new boys. Ah, yeah, me, baby. Baby. That's right, welcome to my life. <laughs> We're gonna get you. <laughs> Ooh, look at the that. federal pen. Thieves, murderers, Ooh, child molesters, we they were here, all boy. here. Come on, the worst yeah. of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no Ooh, monkey boo, business, boo, or boo, else. Boo, boo. All right, here we are. Oh wait, oh we. Oh, I guess we're still in a cutscene or something. It's kind of weird. Look at them. They're just holding their shotguns ready. Little guys behind here. Little uh, different sides of their yards. These are all the uh, Asians, I assume. These are all the African Americans, right here. And I guess that's it, right? <laughs> are those Asians still over there? Yeah, no. They're all like cut into different sides of the yards. It's weird. But those, what are they? Those are like the white Italians. Let's go. Just white guys, I guess. You want to make problems? Yeah. It's weird. Okay, they get like cut everyone into like different parts of the yard that they're just standing in. Let me teach you. I got just hit. Oh. What are you in? Yeah, knocked out. Sick fuck. Now, get your ass up and get back in line. <laughs> no. Whoa. Um, hey, smart ass. Don't make oh, yeah, yeah, no, we're wearing, like, the old, like, Shawshank Redemption kind of outfits. Oh, okay, they're just gonna hit me and knock me into the ground. Cool. Whatever. Okay, he's just gonna hit me again. Move it! Oh, excuse me. Right 
turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass He's even got the Hitler mustache. You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. All right, here we are. Oh no, is it still cutscenes? I don't know. Okay, let's go. All right, nope. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking told. All right, now we are actually playing. Obey the guards and proceed down the corridor. All right, look at him and his buzz cut. It's so weird. Look at Vito. Wow, he's just walking. Can we like run? Nope. Okay. If you ain't gonna do what you told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. No, let's head up here. Wow, like, look at it. Look kind, kind of like uh, Alcatraz. If anyone knows what Alcatraz looks like, play Marvel the Dead and Call of Duty Zombies, and you'll know what Alcatraz looks like. Oh, I thought he was like gonna talk to me. I can smell you, new fish. Welcome home. Get in. All right. Here's our little sill. Oh, we don't even have a, uh, a shelf. You know what's good for you. Okay, he's just gonna sit here. This was gonna be my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would've preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. Three days later. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. All right. What's this? I'm looking for Leo Galante. Eh, never heard of him. Okay. Hmm. What are these guys? Leo Galante is. Get out of here before you make me mad. Um. Excuse me. You know where Leo Galante is? Yo, why don't you shut the fuck up and get stepping? Okay, you don't have to yell. No, I was just asking where Leo is. Hmm. There's so many people in this yard. What is this guy doing? Alright, nope, he's just gonna run away? Cool. What is this guy doing? What, are they playing craps? I'm looking for Leo Galante. You shall find what you'll see. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh, I just see what that guy was doing. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was at a barber in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> he sent you here, you guinea bastard. Soon I could pay you back. Yeah. Uh. This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? All right, let's fight the Irish guy. Boom! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Jesus, oh, Jesus Christ! 
Okay. Okay. Let's back up before we get killed, Jesus. Dodge. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Come on, come on. Come on, go ahead. Oh, guards there. Little Hitler guard over there. Okay, cool. We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. Two days later. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you. O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> All right. Our dude Leo is saving our lives. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. From what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. All right. Today we're gonna work on your counterpunch. Counterpunch. You know, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. Wow, there's there's a lot of me not talking in this because I'm trying to listen to all the cutscenes. There's a lot of cutscenes just like in the beginning of the game. Okay, okay, hold on. Well, well. It's good. All right, cool. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey, we supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Pepe here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Oh, wait, hold on. Counter, counter, counter. Go ahead. Boom. Nice. Two more of those. Boom. All right, one more of you. Go ahead, go ahead. Boom. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead. Boom. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? <clears throat> well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle, well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. 
Alright, let us continue on when get to know the other guys or leave the gym. Okay. Come on, give me another twist. How's old man going? Can, can we talk? So no? can, we, can we talk to anyone? This guy's lifting. How you doing, Vito? Hey, Name's Damn Sal. Hey, nice work in the ring. Yeah, heard he used to cool, play cool, cool. Matches before he went nice pro. work in the ring, buddy. Keep it up. More of that, and you'll be ready for Not a real fight. Cool. Hell of a job this guy's doing push ups over here. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, what would you? Here for. Cool. The in Empire Bay. Then we got the guy who's just sitting over here in the bleachers. Big dude that we just fought. What's out here? Can we go out here? Oh, yeah, we can. Nope, can't get through the door. This is just where we came in. This is where they do their little, uh, their little, uh, whatchamacallits. Winston's offering two to one against Pepe. Pepe wasn't a friend of mine, I take that bet. O'Neill's a fucking animal. All right. Hey, how you Sorry, doing? Man? Name's Vito. Sam, how you doing? I'm leaving the gym, guys. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, you'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, All right, we're about to go fight this dude. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> dude, crack his neck. Vito's ready. And... Let's fight him. Okay. A lot of this is going to be dodging counterattacks, probably. So, let's just... Oh. Oh. Boom. Boom, boom. Okay, okay. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, God, he just, like, jumped up like that. Dude's not wearing... He's just wearing pants. Okay. Bop. And... Bop. Break his goddamn jaw. This no happen if you use Tiger style. One week later, okay. A lot of this prison stuff is just days, weeks, probably even a couple of years soon. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Let's go to work. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I wonder what the job is. I think it's like bathroom duty or something like that. Let us see. The let us see. They always walk so slow, I hate it. What is that dude? Is that the O'Neill? No, he's just some random white dude. Hey listen, Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. Alright, come with me, Vito. What are we gonna do? Alright. Uh sorta. You'll see. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. All right, now we gotta go fight inside the laundry room. And the guy oh, you're gonna look be at that is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny-ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meet Paul's <laughs> getting ready. Oh, God. He hit me just two seconds into the fight. Hey, okay. Lose, all right. Work this all right, all right. A lot of this one's gonna be dodging, getting ready. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, the way wow. do it, my brother. Your little cracker going down. All right, all right. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I let my go down. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Boom. Okay, okay, okay. Boom. Okay, okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. he's going to like kill me. Jesus. Now, Vito, grab him and finish him. Now's your chance. Boom, boom, and boom. I just almost died though, so we survived somehow. <laughs> Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. Oh no, one of the hacks the is coming. Is I don't know what that means. Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Oh, I got a visitor. Is it Joe? I wonder if it's Joe. Oh no, it's, it's his sister. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Oh no, his mother might die. It's one week later. She's gonna go get money from Joe's apartment. Let's go, Stiletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. All right, let us go to where we gotta go. A lot of this is a lot of cutscenes, so a lot of this episode is gonna be silence, radio silence over here, because I don't want to talk during the cutscenes or anytime they talk. This way, it's heard from everyone else watching, and I just don't want to ruin the experience. So this is kind of unfortunate, but I think we're almost done with the uh, time well spent chapter. Actually, let's hope. At least, let's hope. Okay. So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. Oh no, it's in the showers. Hey, pal. They're all wearing boxers though, so it's fine. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Come on, man, you're killing us. Jesus, you're singing is the second worst thing that happened to me in here. Oh wait, what am I? Oh, I gotta go over here. Okay, never mind. Make them spot. Clean two dirty urinals. Oh, those are the dirty ones. Never mind. All right, all right, jeez. You guys got no culture. That's nasty. That's quite an experience, guys. Cleaning dirty urinals in jail or in prison in a penitentiary. Now let's go ahead and clean up this mess. I like how he just like wipes it and just slowly disappears. What's hey, hey, matter? hey, I just cleaned that Keep one. What are you doing? What are you doing? Or else. Get out of here. Okay, we'll just turn this way. So he can go ahead and do his business. I don't want to, like... Nope. I can't, like, move or nothing. So I guess I gotta wait. Still dirty. Clean it again. And I gotta reclean this one because he ruined it. Why would he do that? Just to be a dickhead. That's why. Alright, right after this, I think this is the end of the prison. I think there's actually like one or two more things I gotta do here. And then we should be done, honestly. At least that's all you could do is hope. Alright, that's it. Alright, let's go. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals. Alright, Stiletta. 
get your moved. clothes off and get cleaned up, would you kindly? All right, shower time. Can we go to like anyone, or is there a specific one I gotta go to? Oh, a specific one. I just go to where the water's already going. What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie, we got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way. Or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. That he like looks disproportionate, like his face looks so disproportionate. It's kinda funny. <laughs> yep, nope. Nope. Not the way we're gonna operate here. Not even close. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Oh. There's three of them, there's three of them. I gotta be ready to fight all three, I think. Boom! Come on. Come on. This one's really giving me a run for my money. It's always the fat one. Come on, take it down. Boom! Boom! And boom! Oh, they ran away. Oh no, that one didn't. He's prepared. Oh my god, oh my god, he's prepared. This guy was ready and willing. You and your fucking. Come on. Oh wow, he's not as tough as the uh, bad guy was. So it's fine, pretty easy. Boom. And boom, boom, and boom, back in the head. Hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? And where's Frank? Don, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. And his mother had died. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. All right.
right, let's go ahead and handle this. So. He's one big mick bastard. No guards to save you this. Oh god, oh god, Jesus. Try again, little man. Okay, 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 Jesus Christ. Well, he what? Wow. You have been killed by a punch to the face. That is how Vito Scaletta died. Come here, Mary. Okay. Okay, bro. Don't even give me a chance to do anything. No guards. Okay, okay, Jesus Christ. He just does not stop. He's like four hits. I don't think so. Try again, little man. Okay, okay. I'm not done with that. Boom. Okay. Right. Come on. Come on. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Boom. Again, harder. Dodge. Counter. Boom. Dodge. Counter. Me ma used to hit harder than that. What? Okay. What? <sighs> oh my god. Okay, let's Come try this again. Let's Mary. try this again. Where's he going? Oh my god, he like. He like just blitzkrieged me. Alright, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. We got this. We got this. And pop, pop, and pop. We didn't break any bones, though. We just knocked him out. Jesus, the fuck are you made of? Have to do better than that, little girl. Okay, nope, he's not done. <laughs> Still going. I don't think so. It's not counter punch, counter punch. Come on. Counter punch. No Boom. To save you counter punch. Time. Oh no, I missed that one. Had enough. Try again, little man. Oh god, he's got a knife. <laughs> you won't cut me. You won't cut me. You won't cut me. Oh, he slit his throat. Shut the fuck up. He slit his throat. Jesus. It all worked out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito. What do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to working for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me, Alberto's a real cocksucker. And you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. All right, all right, let's go. 
Leo is teaching us the ways of the Mafia. He's the Consigliere, which means he's the advisor to, uh... Was it Vinci? Yeah, Vinci. I couldn't remember who he said. Chapter 7, in, me, in loving memory of Francesco Pontenza. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. And here we are, right back at Joe's place. So... What we're going to do is go ahead, catch up with Joe, and we're going to go ahead and try to end the episode right here. So, we're already in a mission, so let's go ahead and do it and get this one over with. Alright. Alright, what are you looking at? Oh, wait, I'm on the wrong side. I'm on the wrong floor. It's one floor up. I forgot, it's on the third floor. All right, here we go. It is like a whole different world. He's been in there for how long? Vito! Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you. Lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. Got a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing. Because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll All take right. my car well, let's and go, go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. All right, I think we're gonna get some new cars, guys. Just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna Just down the street by the boardwalk. Let's go, guys. Oh, I should change the clothes when I was up there. Oh, well, we'll be fine. Damn. All my cars are like destroyed. Ooh. Oh, look at this one. This is a beauty. Damn, it's good to have you home. I done pretty good while you was locked up. But now that you're out, the sky this is delivered. absolutely a beauty. Oh my God! Look at this car. You really felt bad Jesus about what Christ! So what you been up to? We couldn't. Really oh wow. Okay. Cool. 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 Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah. You'll see tonight. I told you I got a nice surprise plan for you. Don't bother asking because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. What do you got, an aversion to red lights? What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? All right, he said right down the street. Just a little more than right down the street. Look at how beautiful the city looks, though. Honestly, it looks absolute. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. All right, just getting in the car crashes. All right, check the place out. It's on the top floor. Let's go ahead and get out. I already paid the first month's and rent for you. Head inside. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side. Right here on the top, top floor. Oh wow! Look, they got a collectible right here. We're gonna go ahead and pick that up. We we'll use that later. 
We'll just censor that out. <laughs> okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. And here is the wow, it looks absolutely beautiful. And there is the beds kind of look really uh with room enough for two. Rough and tatted though. And it doesn't kind of looks like they just put like four mattresses or six mattresses on it to fit. Kind of weird, but whatever, right? If you like your new apartment, sir. If you have yes, yes, I will. There's another one. Feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see ya. All right, we got our apartment, guys. Um, yeah, I was about to say, how do I get dressed into a suit? Any new ones that we can go ahead and run around in? No, I don't think so. Renegade pack. Oh, they got new outfits. Do you see that? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Red jacket with shirt, and then you have the high school outfit. Let's run around with the high school outfit. Oh, actually, no, we're supposed to wear a suit. Let's go ahead and wear a suit. We already know what suit we're wearing. We're gonna start wearing the, uh, whatchamacallit one, though, soon. Let's go. I like how he just, he said, I have to go check it on Klein, and then he goes out there and smokes. <laughs> The 40s or the 50s. What are we in now? The 50s, I guess? I didn't see... Excuse me. I didn't see the date when uh, the mission started. So, let's go. How the hell did Joe leave? So, like, I'm trying to, like, pull out without, you know, hitting anyone and having the cop, you know, start yelling at me for it. So, Jesus Christ. This car does not handle well, though. And let us go. Oh, we can just drive right over all this because why not? Let's just break the law even more. Even though we just got out of the camp. Alright. Oh god, we're gonna crash. Oh god, we're gonna. Yep, we just crashed. Man, we just messed up the whole hood. This car was so nice. Back to Joe's apartment. Ding, 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 ding. Ow. Let's go. Oh, I hit her with the car. Alright. Parked it in the garage, and let's go to Joe's. This guy's still just sitting here. He was sitting here at the door earlier. Just chilling. Trying to figure out where he... Okay, this guy is also just... Okay. That guy's like passed out outside. Jeez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad. Nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I How's am. it going? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. This is my pal, Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas. I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? All right, let's go. I had a couple of drinks already, so... Uh, you <laughs> you want to drive? I like how we just drove here. Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh, funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. All right, hey, let us go on. with this you nice well car. All right, of Eddie's. let's go, Vito. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! If you told me we'll Driving go. with these vehicles Head is not the same. The not the same at all. If only we could have drove mine, but it's only a two door, so wouldn't have been able to fit Eddie or Joe. Well, Eddie or Joe inside of it. So 
let us continue onward with this nice car. What was the one thing you missed the most when you was in the camp? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that. Now, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you're getting closer. <laughs> what are you guys, taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball... <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Let's go. We're almost there. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta Right around the block. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? Yeah, we heard Alberto and that asshole Luca were taking guys into their family for a fee, but we had no idea they were charging that much. Uh, they're gonna have to answer for this, and soon. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no! Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, scram, baby. So, Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. All right. And to a bright future together. Touching I down. can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. Carlo's a real smart guy. <laughs> He's into, uh, uh, you know, uh, astrology. You mean astronomy. Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. You shut your goddamn pie hole. If you wanna oh. use your mouth. You fellas ready to go? Vito! Uh, 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 yeah, let's uh, go. Hey, get up, Joe! Hey, I'm going home. Good night, you whores! That was quite an adventure. Hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it! Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, they yeah, are really boy. destroyed. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? I can't beat the horn. I was gonna beep it to see if it scared them. Up at all us. Yeah! Next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less poo. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, are you gonna get in the car? Yep, okay, okay. They're, they're starting. So Alright, let us continue like onward. Place, a lot better than playing Back I just to Joe's. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> what the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? 
I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the, what the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? <laughs> he said he puked in your car. Uh, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. They have hey, a dead guy down, sitting in the trunk. Ready. All right, so now we gotta go do is better him. All right, observatory is right up here. We're almost there. Oh no, we're not. The observatory is very, very far away. Never mind. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? A little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killing me. Oh, oh, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash. Nope, okay. We're gonna head right up here to the right. The cups are taking too long, so we're just gonna go ahead and cut them off and go on our merry way. Let's not crash into anything. Imagine if, like, if you crash into something, the trunk just flies open. And the body just goes flying out right into the cop. That'd be funny. Honestly. Oh, oh stop. Now, I'm gonna hurl. Hmm, I wonder if, like, I could pull the car over and open the trunk and the body will be in there. Huh. Let us test that out. Hold on. Uh, too late, Vin <laughs> Ah, Christ! You cannot. Okay, never mind. I just want to say. I was gonna say. I was gonna say if you could do that, yeah, and you could just see the body. That'd be pretty cool. The other smell. The only way it could get worse now than craps himself. Okay. 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 Come on. Come on. I don't want to crash into cars. Come on, guys. The cops are still right behind us, just chasing or following us down to the observatory. Let us continue onward, though. Right down the street. Speed racer. This is actually reminds me of Goodfellas. If you guys have ever seen the movie, I don't know. But, in that movie, the same thing kind of happens, except they don't get drunk and they don't, uh, you know, go to a whole house. But, they do have a dead body and they do have to go and bury it. Okay, okay, okay. I just crashed by accident. Oh, excuse me. Watch where you're going! Let us continue onward to where we are going. It's right down here. Right down the road. Oh, wow. I think the, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, God. I just busted through the gate. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Come on. All right. We're here. <clears throat> Rito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? That's great. That's just great. Yeah. <clears throat> God damn it, new shoes. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> oh, fucking Christ almighty. How long this guy been in here, Reddy? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. That's oh, just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. Hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. Finally done. <sighs> Okay, now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? 
Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any help ah, here. Fine, he... whatever. Hey, fellas. How about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This go. wasn't supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but Good it's night, nice out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. All right, now we are done. I'm burying the dead guy that's been in there for a couple of days. And let us continue back to where are we on? Back to Joe's place? Back to Joe's place. Alright, let's go. Right down the street, not too far. I think if we can, I'm gonna ride off the edge of the you guys kidding uh, me with this? thing. <clears throat> nope, we cannot. We cannot destroy this. Okay. Well, if we find a oh, little God. cliff, we're just gonna go ahead and fly right off of it and see what happens. Right through here. The hedges are probably no, they're not. Uh, what you call it? Solid, but but in video game fashion, everything else in the in the place is solid. So let's not do that. Let's just follow the road like normal. The observatory. I didn't even know that they had an observatory. If I'm honest with you, I think this is where you end the game, though. If I remember a hundred percent correctly. I like how they pull me over for speeding, but they won't pull me over for driving the middle of the, uh, of the lines. Alright, let's go. Speeding the cops are probably going to come after us. I crashed. But they didn't see it, so we're fine. I was looking at the, uh, map trying to figure out if the cops were going to try and stop us. Or if they were going to come after us. But we had to find, this is where the doctor was when, uh, Henry got shot. I wonder how Henry's doing. Is he still working for, uh, what's his name? Oh, back up, back up, back up. The yellow stop signs instead of red. Oh, you hit my car! Can I, like... Okay, it's like the car is, like, completely, completely messed up. Because it's driving absolutely slow. But, that's okay, we just gotta get to, uh, Joe's house, which is right down here. Right down the street. Not too far, not too far. Come on. Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. At this point, if we crash, we'll get a broken enemy. Gotta fix it real fast. Bro, why you keep driving in the car? Go around. Oh, I broke his windshield. He's probably gonna be pissed. Alright, climb in the car. Didn't mean to, didn't mean to. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Can we actually drive normally now, or is it still pretty messed up so we can't drive normally? I know, we're pretty good. FJ, Fat Joe. Fat Joe Barbara. At your service. Alright. We're right down the street now from Joe's apartment, so we got this. Oh, this is where the ration stamps were. You know what I wonder? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us see if we can actually get inside the ration stamps place. Like, does this, like, is this an always thing? Or no? No, right? Nope. Okay. I just wanted to see if you could. I thought that would be really, uh, really cool if you could. But, you don't, you can't, so it's fine. Whatever. Just want to make sure. And, boom! Right over the thing right inside the car and to Joe's place which is down the street I like how jo uh, Joe wanted them to rob or wanted him to rob the same place that's literally down the street from his house crazy that is like a recipe to getting caught <laughs> alright let's go around these guys please don't crash please don't crash oh no we're good okay keep going keep going keep going Move, move, move. Don't crash, don't crash. 
right up here. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's <laughs> car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up. Hey, shut up, you whore. Come on. We'll you had enough, Eddie. Girls. You're going to so bed. Get to you Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. And here we are with chapter 7. That's the end of it. I think we're on chapter 8 now. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and end the episode there. Be sure to like, come subscribe for more content. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.